like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all, I'm back with another flashback. This video features Umi. Who remembers Umi, y'all? She's one of the few women who stood up to Nature Boy and let him know what it was going to be and what it was not going to be. Y'all be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of the like button, and share. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Y'all peep how Nature Boy thought turning on the camera was going to get him a different response. But Umi had to let him know, like I said, in the first place. Okay? She wasn't having it, y'all. Y'all, I promise you, Nature Boy was not ready for Umi. He was not ready. Not at all. finna hold y'all. Umi looked like she ready to go. Like she just ready to go. She actually did end up leaving like I think either this day or the very next rising.
yourself. Listen. You ain't gonna cook for your kids. You ain't gonna cook for your husband. Listen. So you're not gonna be a homemaker. You don't think that a woman, her basic thing should be being a homemaker. You don't believe that. What I don't believe is that a woman, every woman, and I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm saying that I don't believe that every woman should have to spend 99.99% of her time being a homemaker. Being a homemaker. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I don't. Now, y'all know Umi could have never fit into carbonation, not with her ideology that she's not a homemaker or every woman isn't made to be a homemaker. Absolutely not. All right, y'all, if you haven't picked up your copy of Greatness is a Habit, authored by Aaron Dixon, otherwise known as True, many of you know him as True. He is an ex-Carbonation member, and he's authored this amazing read. If you are interested in self-development and growth, this book is a good one for you. It's available on Apple Books for a dollar, guys. I got my copy and I love this book. And this is how I'm going to say it. Mmm! Got my vegan mac and cheese making a cameo. Good as fuck. It's your friendly neighborhood, Baldy Locks. Corn hunting describes the act of a couple seeking a woman to add to their relationship in some way, usually in the way of casual sex. The reason why this can be considered unethical is because some couples proceed upon their hunt. Y'all see Umi? She still got that fire in her eyes and she's still bossed up, y'all. Proceed upon their hunt in the misogynistic, predatory way where women are relegated to nothing more than so many notches on the couple's bedposts. This is why a lot of women in the polyam community refuse to date couples. Even I, as a baby in polyamory, made toxic mistakes as one half of a unicorn hunting couple, viewing women as conquests. But people are not conquests. People are people. I want you to put in the comments your unicorn hunting horror story or 
Were you the couple that was the horror story like me in the past? Hmm. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as well as my commentary. Please be sure to drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button, and share this video. Guys, I want to give a warm welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the channel. To all of my OGs, my day ones, my ride or dies. Y'all already know what it is. Big up yourself. We in the building with it.